guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 3 of Season 2 of our Durham County Cricket mini-series and today we have a third championship match against Middlesex and we're going to have to do well in it. Uh, let's get some training going, we haven't done that for a while. Um, who needs some batting practice? Stoneman will take him off, we'll give Jennings a bit of batting practice. Uh, Chris Reed definitely needs some batting practice, he's been terrible so far and may well find this place under threat by the great Phil Mustard. So we'll continue. Uh, Collingwood's out, but that doesn't really affect us. Doesn't look like we've got any of the, the big boys back. Uh, Chris Reed, as I say, has been poor this season so far, so we're going to bring in Phil Mustard, and that just gives us a bit more batting depth, I think, um, and hopefully he'll do all right. Willie's been pretty poor so far as well, so we'll take him out of um the lineup and maybe bring in um who do we bring in clark uh i feel like we do just need a little bit more batting depth <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get that in clark so we'll see how that goes um we're gonna have onions as the second bowler roland jones is is in the team by the skin of his teeth at the moment hopefully we can get a good performance today um, we are going to bat first time we've batted first I think this season so yeah hopefully it'll be a good performance we need to go out there and get 400 runs in my opinion we need to show that we are title contenders we finished second last year you know and, and arguably should have won the title Jennings has gone for five obviously that batting practice didn't help him at all Um and Harris now to Stoneman and he's gone for 22 so a really poor start from us here um, and now Patel to Stokes yeah maybe it was a, a wrong decision to bat first but yeah as I was saying we finished second last season arguably should have won the title a uh, couple of very poor performances where we just lost games that we shouldn't have and um, you know um we, we could have won it, possibly should have won it. And coming into this season, we've strengthened, in my opinion, and, well, we just haven't been good enough so far. But a good performance today will certainly uh, stop the hate for now and uh, and hopefully get us back on track. Obviously, Middlesex are a good team, but I think we are better than them. So hopefully we should be um, winning this match. Uh, and a, a good performance from Kumar Sangakara. He's got a hundred, which is brilliant to see. And Ben Stokes has got his hundred as well. So these two really pushing on, and that's good to see. What a shame though, Sangakara gone for twenty-two. Brilliant innings from him, and that's set us up lovely. But we've got to finish finish the job. We've got to go and and, and get four hundred runs, as I said at the start of the episode. Uh, Middlesex have taken the new ball, uh, so after 81 overs, Clark gone for 11, not good, Stokes is doing well though, he's got 150 now, and uh, is still pushing on, Phil Mustard comes in and instantly does a job, which is, is great to see, as long as you're getting 30 odd runs as a wicketkeeper, I think that's good, 3-7-7 seven, seven for 5 on the first day, that is what we're talking about, Back to our best, hopefully. Uh, Stephen Finn is, is is bowling for Middlesex, of course. A very good bowler, hero of the road to world number one, as well as Ben Stokes. Um, and hopefully he can go out and get us 200 today. That would be really good to see. Uh, Phil Mustard gets a 50, which is incredible. You know, he's a... He's quite an old man now, Phil Mustard. Uh, Stokes gone for 193, unfortunately couldn't get his uh, double century. But what a performance from him, and be very, very proud. And Phil Mustard's come back into the team and got a century in his first game back. That is what we're talking about. Chris Reed. that is what you should have been doing, sir. Um, but this is, this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful play from us we're going to score 600 runs uh lunch interval day two we've pretty much battered them out of the game uh in the first innings he's gone now so i think we are gonna oh, should we get the 600 why not 
or try to at least. Not going to quite get there. 597 all out. New user record with Durham. 597 all out. Ben Stokes, Phil Mustard, and Kumar Sangakara all getting centuries. A brilliant 76 from Ryan Pringle as well late on. Um, you know, as has set us up lovely for this match. We cannot lose this match from that position. Really, really we can it. So let's go and bowl them out. A couple of cheap innings. Win by an innings. And get our first victory on the board. That's exactly what we need. Stokes in, but couldn't get anything there. Onions to Robson. He's gone for 21. Good start from Graham Onions. Uh, him to Milan. He's gone for... Um, two and he's justified my decision to make him the second bowler instead of Roland Jones absolutely brilliant performance so far for us, 81 for 2 at whatever interval that was, I think it was T on day 2 Rushworth to Covington now he's gone for 11, that's our first bowling point and yeah we could do with bowling points today Um you know, just to help us in the championship a little bit. Stokes and Pringle. See how Ryan Pringle can do. Two of the highlight batsmen that's high in the air, and it's going to be six, you would think. Oh, that's four. Unlucky there. We'll bring Borthwick in as well. It's meant to be a good spinner's wicket, so Pringle to Sterling. That's high in the air. And well caught. Sterling gone for 36. We're still within the first 150 over, so we should be getting uh, some bonus points for, for this. Obviously, you get a 3, 6, and 9. Pringle Ingram, he's gone for 4. Excellent bowling, and we're now on 1. Uh, 196 for 5. We still lead by 401 runs. Still got 2 days to get 15 wickets. Both to Simpson. High in the air. Oh, four. Unlucky. Pringle to Simpson. Nope. Borthwick hasn't had a great start of the season. He's going to have to do something uh, soon. Uh, so, uh, keep his place in the team. Pringle uh, to, to Gubbins. He's got his third wicket. He's gone for 144. That's our sixth wicket. They still need another 200 to avoid the follow-on, and Borthwick gets his first wicket. This is what we're talking about, a spinner's display from these two today. Pringle gets his fourth wicket. Can he get his fifth here against Patel? Yes, he can. He's gone for a duck. And what a performance from the spinners here. Spinner's paradise. And, uh, well, I thought that was going to be it there, but Pringle, uh, Murtag... He's gone for eight and six wickets for Ryan Pringle. We are definitely going to enforce the follow-on. And Stokes can come it steaming in early on here and see what he can do. Um, we'll see, we've got two fresh seam bowlers coming in at the openers. Robson gone for five. This is exactly the start we needed. Stokes to Gubbins now. The cent Centurist uh, in... The the first innings, he's gone for two. And Middlesex already nine for two here. This is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant play. And we're going to bring Rushworth and Roland Jones in here. And hopefully going to wrap up this first victory. What a catch. Bland gone for 35. Roland Jones gets his first wicket. Rushworth to Compton. I think he got him in the first innings, so... You know, no reason why he can't in this innings as well. Roland Jones to Sterling. Got him. He's gone for 16. Uh, need to get Dick Compton out pretty soon. Uh, Ryan Pringle comes in and instantly a highlight with his first ball. Because there's a wicket, he's gone for three. Ryan Pringle has had a terrific game. If he's not man of the match, I, I really don't know what he has to do. What a performance. Scott Borthwick to Dick Compton now. Five wickets to win. And we've just ran them out. I mean, that, that's a silly wicket for them to lose when the, the batman has saved the match. 
Um, now Pringle Harris. Harris gone for six. James Harris out there. And now Pringle uh, Murtag. And another Stubman. He's gone for a duck. And well, Middlesex have just lost all will to win this game now. And the spinners are going to finish it off. Hopefully Pringle to Compton. High in the air. I mean, that's four. It's a pretty good shot. And we would like to win it before day four, but uh, we'll see about that. Stokes to Patel. Well, it looks like they're going to survive, and they have. So Good on them. They've, they've, they've fought better than, than we will have. Uh, Nick Cobman got a century. A brilliant innings from him. He's gone for 108, though, and, and surely... Surely we're going to take this final wicket here. Onions to Patel. He's gone for 23 and we have won by an innings and 103 runs. The comeback is complete there. What a terrific victory that was. 24 points for us. That shoots us up to fifth place. I was saying in the last episode, are we out of the title race? Maybe we are, but we're right back in it really with that that performance we're 20 points off leaders Nottinghamshire who we've already played by the way and we've got Yorkshire in the next match we haven't got a great yet record against Yorkshire and Stokes and Wood will be playing for England so our talisman Ben Stokes who actually got um, uh, man of the match Ryan Pringle he deserved it wholeheartedly deserved it uh, we'll just skip over this maybe Give him some batting practice and see how that does. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Only takes a second and it means the world to me and really helps the channel as well. Um, and yeah, share it with all your friends. Subscribe if you do, of course. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.